The reason that hurricane forecasting isn't more of an exact science is because we're limited by the data that we get. We're limited by the data that is given to us by satellites, by these drones that fly through these storms, or the hurricane hunters that fly right through the eye. There's only so many of them, and the storm is so huge. All that data goes into the computer models. When storms are far away, you'll hear a lot about the European model versus the American GFS model. Those are the two long-range models. The European model has a better track record because their data and their formulas are better. Think of it as 2D versus 3D. We're hoping to catch up to them shortly. So about seven to 10 inches of rain. Regardless of the long-range model, these long-range forecasts are only so good as the information that goes into them. And the longer they go out in time, the less accurate they are. And it's because of the weather patterns that are being measured in our country. The storm system on the West Coast could highly impact the storm on the east coast, but we can't sample that data until it moves on shore. So these hurricane forecasts are extremely difficult, especially when they're going to parallel a coastline like we're going to see with Matthew. A shift of 50 to 100 miles is a huge difference between a billion dollar disaster and just a minor blow. We learned this lesson with Hurricane Charlie back in 2004. It was expected to come on shore a little further south of the Tampa area and also be a minor blow. It intensified over the warm waters of the Gulf and actually was a very significant blow to the areas from Tampa all the way down to Port Charlotte. So as uncertain as these hurricane forecasts are for Hurricane Matthew, the science has gotten a hundred times better over the last 50 years. So although we're still going to have little minute differences of opinion of what's going to happen right until landfall, be fortunate that we have the data we have now. It's much better than your parents and grandparents had. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.